Hello guys, George and Godot2, today's another video, another review on the channel. Today we're going to be doing a quick fire, everything I know Doctor Who related, just for a bit of fun. Honestly, I was watching the chase and someone got a Doctor Who question wrong and I was like, and I just thought, let's just hit, let's just do a video talking about Doctor Who really quickly on everything I know about Doctor Who that stands out to me. Not everything, because it's over 60 years of content. I mean, we're nearly at the 60th, so too much but yeah let's go and spitfire everything i know that brings to my head automatically now this is me talking from the bat i haven't got any scripts or anything so let's just go so doctor who started in 1963 uh november the 23rd uh verity lambert was the producer who helped doctor who along the way she didn't get much respect and stuff like this because she was a woman at these times but she managed to push through and do it um the person i know this from uh twice uh what's it called Sp adventure in space and time the producer there was a producer as well i don't know his name but he was a first in he was one of the indian gay heritage that was trying to help doctor who as well he's a very important person to remember and there was also the guy who goes pow 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 uh i don't know him but he basically spitballed the idea of doctor who uh anyway we have that interplay in there they're all the main front of created doctor who mainly uh, William Hartnell was the first Doctor. I say first because we'll get onto that in a bit. 1963, the 23rd of November, was the air date of Doctor Who. However, the day before, President Kennedy got assassinated. So everyone was not talking about Doctor Who. They were talking about President Kennedy, which uh, made Doctor Who have a rerun of its first episode a week or so after. Yeah. Then we have that interplay. We have the first Doctor played by William Hartnell. He took on the role. He did. He was too typecast as the guy who plays the grumpy person. So then he slowly mellowed into something he more liked to play as Doctor Who. Uh, yes, the William Hartnell had a granddaughter, and yeah, let's get onto other stuff. So this is ha typed out for about three years. He was getting ill. William Hartnell was forgetting lines, stumbling, and stuff like this. So the producers and all that were like, "We want Doctor Who to continue, but without you, Bill." William Hartnell and William Hartnell didn't really want to go however his ill health kind of made him out the door uh with that interplay William Hartnell had ideas for Patrick Troughton to be the role they considered that and Patrick Troughton got the role Patrick Troughton was the big steps to fill in from William Hartnell uh from onwards and it basically he changed the role into this galactic hobo sort of character who had Zoe and um Fraser Hines as Jamie and stuff like this and they were well-known characters and they were producing quite well this is still in the black and white era and then eventually Patrick Troughton after three years is the three-year rule to regenerate sort of thing he kind of created that in a way he left and we have Pat, uh, John Pertwee the first uh, in colour episode spearhead in space uh, this was on DVD and we got the colour from now on from the classic era uh, John Pertwee is well known uh, from James Bond, you know, he does the James Bond gags and stuff like this through the Doctor Who era. Obviously he weren't James Bond, but he, he kind of was that sort of Doctor. He did the high Aikido and he had the flies and all this and jetpacks and stuff like this, which he did his own stunts quite a lot of the time for, we've heard in interviews and stuff like that, which is brilliant. Uh, we have some well-known characters from Sarah Jane, Elizabeth Sladen and Katie Manning, who plays... Uh, Joe Grant, they're quite iconic Doctor Who characters and they're well known. We also have so many Doctor Who adventures. However, Doctor Who was based on Earth. The Doctor sto uh, couldn't use his TARDIS anymore. And we have the Master as the big threat for John Pertwee's era. John Pertwee uh, and the Master were known to be brothers. This story never got written and it got destroyed and scrapped because the actor sadly died in a car crash, I do believe, or some sort of crash. Sadly, uh, Roger Delgado couldn't play the master anymore, so they stopped that. And uh, John Pertwee was meant to regenerate and go out with this big bang and this and that. Sadly, they didn't have the budget for it, so they just went for with spiders. Next up, we have Tom Baker, who played the role for seven years, the longest serving doctor to date, unless you count uh, the, the wilderness years. But yeah, um, so Tom Baker now. He is the brilliant Tom Baker, who's well known by everyone. He's like, everyone's hid behind the sofas because of this Tom Baker. He's probably well known because of the amount of time he did on the show, plus the era and what, how big and Doctor Who was going against and the sci-fi genre was really thriving at this point. Uh, Tom Baker's faced some well-known characters like the Zygons, uh, Genesis of the Diets, the number one Doctor Who story of all time. 
And of course, we have well-known characters like Leela, Star, um, Sarah Jane and K-9 to face. In this long era, he's had various different counts and the long scarf was knitted by a woman, uh, an old woman who uh, did the whole thing. She had a bundle of stuff and she just kept on doing it and didn't doing it. They decided to cut the scarf a bit, but still have the ongoing gag of the long scarf. Next up, we have uh, Peter Davison. Uh, also, Tom Baker was meant to have a big grand finale, I think, and it just never happened. Um, also, with Peter Davison now, I don't know much because I'm not very interested in this era. So, he, other than Peter Davison was the youngest Doctor to play in the classic run so far at this point. Uh, then we have uh, Colin Baker, who was also in a Doctor Who episode before, and he got recognised because he was taking on the role and trying to be the big, uh, big actor. And then this guy was like, "Why are you trying to do this? It's not, do it's not Colin Baker. It's Doctor Who." And then uh, he kind of got noticed by the pre presenter or something like that. And Colin Baker got the role as the Doctor later on because he was doing so well and big and bold out of the rest of the group that were filming that day or something like that. I don't know. But anyway, uh, Colin Baker got stood out. He got the role as the Doctor. And he had a couple runs on the T TARDIS until eventually he had an argument and the BBC were kind of like, right, the viewing triggers aren't going to go well. We need to get you out, Colin Baker. He argued he wanted to stay and stuff like that. And then he refused to do a regeneration. So when that regeneration scene, we have Sylvester McCoy with the wig and the weird effect of, you know, carrot juice. And then we got the Seventh Doctor... Sylvester McCoy now. The Sylvester McCoy had a brilliant run. He was going for a dark doctor who's mellowing and he's very corrupt and playing the practical joker to a darker doctor. Uh, and um, he has some well-known characters as well. Uh, throughout this, the sixth doctor had Perry and Sylvester McCoy had Ace, one of the well-known classic doctors uh, for, of, of the run. Uh, sadly, the story ends there. They cut Doctor Who and the wilderness years begun. So we never knew what happened to Ace. However, there have been books, stories, big finish and all this and that of what has happened to Ace. Because the Doctor and Ace just went off into the sunset and come along, Ace, let's go to the TARDIS. Survival was the last Doctor Who story. That's classic era. Then there was Wilderness Eras and the Doctor in Distress. And, you know, the um, TV movie happened with Paul McGann. They were going to go America style. Paul McGann and um, Grace Hallow. I don't know. Grace and McGann were in this movie to do the pilot to produce American series of Doctor Who. It didn't go well in America. It did well in uh, in the UK and they cut it there. And then Doctor Who was in the wilderness years again. Until yet again, I feel like the guy from Horrible History is like, then again. Um, well, next up in 2003 or four, they produced, the producer was like, right, I'm Russell T. Davis now, let's write Doctor Who. And in 2005, the first series of Doctor Who from the new year, Who begun with Christopher Eccleston. However, Christopher Eccleston had arguments with producers and this and that, and he was having enough, and it wasn't the route he wanted to take because he wanted more hands-on approach with the Ninth Doctor, and he weren't happy on how it went. So basically, he was like, right, I'm going to regenerate now. Fantastic. Regenerates into to David Tennant, and David Tennant's one of the well-known Doctors because everyone loves him, and yeah, and he had four amazing series with spin-offs with Torchwood, Sarah Jane Ventures successfully doing well. However, we've had in the classic era, we had uh, Kane and the Company, and uh, yeah. Then we also have this going into play, a massive, massive series four finale with all the to uh, Torchwood and Sarah Jane joining into the Doctor Who universe. David Tennant deciding he wants to go at this point. End of time happens. David Tennant regenerates. And um, then we have Matt Smith. Uh, in 2010, we have the Matt Smith era now. And the Matt Smith era is all different head writer, different showrunner, different this, different that. And Matt Smith era had begun with Karen Gill and Arthur Darvill as uh, they went on. And then, then we got Jenna Coleman. Matt Smith decides to leave, join the 50th, the hype. He can go at the way everyone's celebrating about the show. And then after that, we have the 50th anniversary celebrating the past, the future, bringing us a war doctor. Uh, into that, into play, we also had a mini episode of McGann showing the regeneration into the war doctor. And then we also got um, other stuff mixed in between. And then we got uh, Time the Doctor where Matt Smith regenerates. He was going to stay, Matt Smith was going to stay into series eight. However, he decided let's just end it now and let's do it. Uh, so... All of Series 8 stuff got piled into one episode twice at uh, the time of the Doctor where Matt Smith regenerates into an old... He's really old and then regenerates and then we get De Peter Capaldi, my favourite Doctor. Peter Capaldi was going from a dark to a 
kind of mellowing out as a perfectly grandpa cool doctor that he was and a rocker doctor and a time lord rebel and stuff like that anyway the peter capaldi era was he was he's um the same age as william hartnell was when he william hartnell left or begun anyway this is one of the older doctors now from new who the oldest one to play uh, matt smith was the youngest doctor to play the role anyway Back into play, Pete Crowley doing his run, and then Jenna Coleman left, and then we got Bill Potts and Matt Lucas on board as full-time companions, and then Pete Capaldi decides to leave, or may have got kicked out by the BBC. It's a bit of a rumour, but I'm going to go with the nicer option. Pete Capaldi decides to leave in 2017, and then we get Willie... Um... <coughs> Sorry, speaking too fast. Then we get Jodie Whittaker, uh, the first female Doctor to play the role, and then she gets her run with Chris Chibnall and it's still going to this present day with um, a first black actor to play the master as well. Uh, Sasha Dewan, who does a wonderful job. And also we had in Peak Powdy era two masters, a first multi-master story. Also, uh, the third Doctor never fought Sidemen and so did the, the ninth Doctor never fight Sidemen. And yeah. That's pretty much everything I can ramble about fully. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video of me just rambling, talking about Doctor Who and everything I know that's coming out of my head straight away. I mean, I could talk about more stuff, but I don't have anything to look at or to remind me. So yeah, that's everything that I thought about in just over 10 minutes. I hope you enjoyed me rambling about everything I know about Doctor Who. Um, my jaw hurts now, so I'm going to stop here. Also, I've left a pie in the oven which I've just remembered. So subscribe to the channel, give this video a thumbs up, and uh, well, join the journey. I've got to go and get that pie because, you know, oh dear, why did I make a video and then do a pie? Um, is the pie alive? Oh crap, it's black. All right, subscribe, and as always, I'll see you guys for another video very soon. Have a nice day, I've burnt my pie.